Over the last month or so, we've been packing up and clearing out the entire contents of our house, as we have sold up and are downsizing to live in a van. It's been a long process, but we believe we've packed everything we need for an indefinite trip around Europe as we go in search of our remote off-grid dream home. Yesterday, we left what was our home in Kent and drove across the width of England and Wales to a little place called Fishguard, where we were casually waiting to board a ferry that would take us to Ireland. In spite of being absolutely exhausted from the mammoth packing task and the long drive, we were in good spirits and we were doing well. Or so we thought. Being the experienced travellers we are, surely we hadn't just made a very silly error. Welcome back to the channel, folks. Welcome to South Wales. We're in a rush. We're in Fishguard. About to get on a ferry over to Ireland, only we're going with a different ferry company and we need to be an hour south of here. And uh, we've got an hour and a half to get there on Welsh roads. Oh yeah, it's 28 degrees. When's it ever 28 degrees in Wales? I knew we was in the wrong place. And do you want to know how I know? Because he wasn't even alongside, he, the ship wasn't even alongside and I know how long it takes to come alongside and he was nowhere in sight. Ooh, I was in the Navy and I know how long it takes to come alongside, but why didn't you? So we've been wandering around for half hour. <laughs> Walking AJ, he's having oh. a lovely time. Right, let's go. Oh, I hate having to drive fast through Wales. It's a flipping nightmare. 29 degrees. I'm trying to concentrate. 29 degrees. When has it ever been 29 degrees in Wales in September? 29. Look, look, sweat, real sweat. Last time I had to drive fast through Wales, I got stung for a speeding ticket on Anglesey. And on this trip, we've seen loads of speed traps in Wales. Yeah, we're definitely in the wrong place. <laughs> There's me getting all nice drone shots of Fishguard, going, oh, start the video, or we're in Fishguard, found the lovely place to park. Completely irrelevant information if you're going on Irish ferries, because you don't want to be in Fishguard, you want to be in Pembroke Dock. Is that where we're yeah, going? Pembroke that, Dock. Yeah. I don't know if it's more shocking that we've missed the, not missed the ferry, but got the wrong ferry, or that it's 29 degrees in Wales. I feel like that it's 29 degrees in Wales, because who knew it gets this hot in here? I'm coming for yes, you. Yeah, come and help. Oh. Emily's been walking around all day. Did you know it gets this hot in Wales? I didn't know it got this hot in Wales. That's because every time they come, we're wearing like hats, gloves, scarves, raincoats, everything. So this is new. I'm like, oh, it's so hot in there. So, why are we? We are not normally this unprepared, Louise. Oh my God, I can't believe it. We are just, this is because we are so out of practice and we've been at that bloody house too long. I can't believe we're literally at the top of this line. 44 minutes is what Google yep. says, and we need to be there in... 30 minutes before, don't Yeah, we? so we need to be there in an hour, basically. So we've got 16 minutes wiggle room. Oh my God, how lucky is it that you only have to be there half an hour before it sells? And also we're in South Wales, right? It's not like we're going to get stuck on the M25, like we're trying to get the Gatwick or something. Why, why, why just don't jinx us? Why don't you do that? Now we're stuck behind farm folk. <laughs> farm folk are slowing us down. That is such a fucking insane thing. Well, I honestly thought there'd only be but I just went on Google Maps this morning and just type, I just literally looked for the line, you know, there's a dotted line that goes across the sea to show a ferry crossing. I followed the dotted line back and I was like, ah, oh, Fishguard, there ain't going to be like two ports in South Wales. So Fishguard we went, but we've seen Fishguard now, so that's a massive bonus. Emily's panicking because it's the first time ever we've upgraded to club, cl club class. I can't even say club class, this is why I shouldn't be in it. And because we're in club class, you get free on board snacks and we won't upgrade again. So Emily's now panicking, you're not going to get your snacks. You've got to take advantage of the free snacks. If I don't, you owe me some. Well, it's not my fault, is it? You're actually normally in charge of like itinerary and planning and stuff. So I feel that you I owe me some. And look what happens when I leave you to do it. <laughs> You didn't, I just got up and it wasn't done, so I had to do it. <laughs> oh, I tell you what. I was like, where am I going? You like, I don't know. I was like, oh, I'll just have a look where the ferry goes from. You little liar. Mm -hmm. I was busy. I'm going to be tight. It's going to be tight. There's our ferry there, the one they're loading. I don't you it'd be docked. <laughs> well, let's just hope we don't pull out before we get on it. Seriously, Louise. I told you it takes a long time to get alongside. Yards and around about. 
Stupid Sally Satnav sent me down here. Oh, because this place is called Pembroke Ferry. <laughs> Why would you name a place the Pembroke Ferry? So now I've got to turn around. Oh, the f he's doing the bins. You have to go here. What, turn around here? I don't think I've got the space. Do not? No. Nope. Oh, I don't think I live. Yeah, I'm not going to make that swing, I don't think. There's no way I'm getting around there. <sighs> Come on, matey. Just, just give me enough room so that I can get past you or turn around, please. Please, no, okay, no, I'm just gonna stop there. I did wonder when I saw the sign that said ferry that way and sat now brought me this way. <laughs> and if you just saw it sailing away. Shut up. <laughs> you're the one that won't get you free snacks, so no way you're laughing, chuckles. <laughs> Lane number two. Lovely. Thank you. Oh, security checkpoint. Oh, shit. What? You haven't hit your cheese, have you? Don't worry, babe, I'll charm, I'll charm my way through security. Mm-hmm. I'll ask him to turn the gas off. Yeah? Over there. Okay. <laughs> Are you panicking? <laughs> yeah, Cause because... Because you, you've got cheese on board. <laughs> Oh. You know, I'm not Hiya. Hiya. Yeah, not not bad yourself. Not too bad. Fantastic. <laughs> he will say hello. Can you do a quick couple of checks, okay? So I've got a quick look at the back. Uh, gas. Gas. Yeah, yes. I've got underslung LPG, so I can turn that off from. Turn off? Yeah. Well, not yet, but I'm just about you to do it. Yep. No worries. He is friendly, so. I'm not handsome boy. Hello. Hello. Probably a bit over friendly. Yes. Oh, and look at the cat as well. Yes. Oh, lovely. <laughs> There we are, sorted. Happy days, happy days. Let's right, have a quick look underneath now, okay? Yep, yep. no worries. Stay with me a second. Good. Lovely, Thanks. thank you. Whew. Yeah, well, that was Welsh security. You still might not get your cheese past Irish security. <laughs> We're going to throw the cheese away. It's just because in the rush we forgot to throw out the dairy. This is all, it's just because we went to the wrong bloody place. <laughs> so a little bit all over the place. Lane two, lane two. Lane two. The slow day, the calm and the night will unfold So I reckon they'll check our stuff at the other end like they did in Norway Yeah, we've got the border control, so... Yeah oh, It's a big old boat, isn't it? It is <sighs> Oh, start! <laughs> High five! We made it! Oh my god Every occasion I whisper your No, and it's the one hand as well, by the way. Like that? That's the one? Yeah, but you're just not straight enough. <laughs> Definitely not. As we waved goodbye to the UK and started the journey across the water, it felt good to finally be travelling again. We were making the journey with Irish ferries and I have to say it was a very comfortable crossing. The boat had plenty of outside space as well as inside and one of the advantages of travelling by ferry, apart from the obvious that it can accommodate our camper van, is how much room there is to move around. There was an onboard pub, a restaurant, a very large shop full of all the kind of stuff that Emily enjoys as well as important bits you may have left behind or stuff you definitely will need for an Irish road trip. There's a kids play area and you can even book a cabin if you wish. We soon found our way to the club class lounge and someone was definitely taking advantage of those all important free snacks. With plenty of space to chill out after our mad dash across Wales, we could relax, enjoy the view and even get some work done using the Wi-Fi. It wasn't too long and we could see Ireland approaching us in the distance. We were definitely excited and as we made our way back to the van, we were keen to get back to the most important cargo on board that ship. Travelling with your pets is daunting, but knowing they are safe inside a space they know does help you relax as you move from country to country. Being able to leave them in the vehicle is a massive bonus for us as they don't seem stressed at all. How's your excitement levels? I'm not going to say I'm through the roof. One, to see AJ and Summer, and two, hopefully fish and chips, and three, Ireland. In that order, probably. Yeah. Hey, buddy. What? We're coming now. We're coming. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 
for Sammy. I don't know if you're able to see Sammy because it's so dark in here. Oh, crikey. You all right, Puppet? Please. You've been a good boy. Oh, I know. Oh. I know. Yes. Yes, OK. Whilst we get reacquainted with Asia in summer and wait to get off this boat. Oh, it's a bit dark in here, isn't it? Where's the lamp? Oh, it's in here. In here? Yeah. Hopefully this will help. Oh, that's a bit bright. Hopefully you guys can see us now. <laughs> yes, while we get reacquainted with Summer and AJ and wait to disembark this ship, is um, disembark the correct word? Yes, it's the correct word. While we wait to get off the boat, I want to take a second to thank this week's video sponsor who in four years of using them while we're travelling around have never let us down and that is NordVPN. Now NordVPN not only keeps us safe online, it also means, which is going to be really important to us on this trip, is we can access um, streaming catalogues from other countries. So for example, when we're watching Netflix, if we want to watch a programme that's only aired on Australian Netflix, or American Netflix, we can do that by masking our IP address. So all we do is open up the app, pick a country, select that country, and then that's it. Our IP address says we're in that country. So like I say, it keeps us safe online, and it means we can keep in touch with all our favourite things. And particularly for me on this trip, I want to stay in touch with the rugby. So I'm going to be able to watch all the international rugby matches. Rugby's huge here in Ireland, so I'm very excited about that. We can use it on up to six devices. So we can have the app on our tablets, our phones, our laptops. So we are always protected wherever we are. We often find ourselves, like today, using public Wi-Fi when we're out and about, when we're travelling in all kinds of different situations. And because we're in the EU and it's getting a bit more difficult now with the roaming, public Wi-Fi for us is necessary isn't it it is indeed he's very cute isn't he <laughs> if you guys want to try nordvpn for yourself then head to nordvpn.com forward slash camper vibe to get yourself a huge discount plus four months extra is there anything you want to add yes it is risk-free with nordvpn's 30-day money-back guarantee so you might as well give it a go keep yourself safe in line and be able to watch all kinds of stuff you probably shouldn't be watching <laughs> i think the boat's moving in fact it is moving let's go <laughs> That is it folks, we have made it to Ireland, the Emerald Isle, the land of the leprechaun, Emily's home country. Um, I think all we've got to do is get through passport control and then we should be good to go. And the first thing we're doing in Ireland, the very first thing Emily wants to do, go and find fish and chips. <laughs> well, I want to get through customs first. Here we go, customs. This always makes me nervous. Hiya! And not too bad. I'm trying to smuggle a dog on his enemy. Besides a bit. Okay, just check the boots. Just scan the dog just for a smile. Yes, of course. Should be there between the shoulder blades. Yeah. I'll give you a little beep when it comes off. That's great. Okay. Don't the dog too. That's great. Get up there. What's your mind? That's great. Listen, thanks very much. Just be careful. Go back in the dog trap. Lovely. Thank you. Bye. See you later. Oh, he was lovely. He was lovely. I tell you what, Louise, I'm trading you in for an Irish one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find myself a nice Irish speaking lady. I might go for long this time. Irish speaking? You, oh, mean, <laughs> you mean a lady with an Irish accent? <laughs> yeah. You've had up for me. Right, drive on the left. The left, because I just got off of a, uh, a ferry and I'm in a foreign country. My brain is saying drive on the right button, drive on the left, right? Correct? Yes. Yep, right, yep, right, left, you're right. on the left. <laughs> Excellent. It's because all the writing's in bloody French as well, which, well, and English, but there's loads of French writing which isn't helping. Is that? Yeah, so it's sorty. It's exit, isn't it? No, but what's that language? Oh, it's kilometres an hour. Of course it's kilometres an hour. Yeah. Does Irish, <laughs> does Ireland have a language? Ireland does have a language. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Emily was giving it big balls on the way over. At least we won't be able to balls up the pronunciation. I think we might. Oh, no. It looked really hard as well. It, it, like, it looked as hard as well. <laughs> so it might be worth noting if you are travelling to Ireland with a dog, um, he will need, like when you come back from France, they will need the worming tablet entered into the passport. Now, if like us, you've got and so they've just come into Ireland on their French passport, so they've got an EU pet passport. An English vet can do the wormer update, they can't do the rabies. So his rabies is still in date anyway, so they were just checking his worming tablet, which was absolutely fine. So bear that in mind if you're coming with a dog. I don't know why, because England is take worm free, Ireland is take worm free, but if you're coming between the two countries, you need to have the tablet. Right. Well, it's got a holiday feel, look, it's got like palm trees. It's got palm mm, trees. Why has it got palm trees? It rains, no? <laughs> yeah, but... They're lowering me into a full sense of security. Emerald Isle. Oh, I'm excited. Fresh, fresh and chips. 
I know, you've picked a park up next to a fish and chip shop. Don't pretend it's just happened, coincidentally. Oh, we're going to get fish and chips. No, you favourite it. It's all picked out, it's in my maps and everything. Take me to the fish and chip shop. Yeah, well, you know, it's my life. You weren't even the open person. There's your fish and chip shop. There it is. And this is the party. Oh, you've never been to Ireland. I'm excited. You lived in Ireland. Northern. <laughs> It's not the same, I didn't enter southern at all. You know you just had all them free snacks on a ferry, right? <laughs> also, I've been told Ireland has some of the best sunsets in the world and it's looking good already, so fingers crossed we get at least five days without rain and crummy weather on this trip. Well, you just jinxed us now, haven't you? <laughs> just get me back my fish and chips. Oh dear, is that my small pod? Yeah. Shining Laura, that's just <laughs> one portion of chips. Portion control in Ireland is looking good for you, right? It is, I'm loving it. We've also picked up a sausage for AJ and Summer's going to have some of my fish because they've been good as gold today on the travel. We're going to smash these out now, then we're going to take AJ for a big long walk. So we're going to love you and leave you because we are shattered, aren't we? Oh yes, it seems like it's been a long day. And we'll see you tomorrow when our Irish adventure really begins. You can mush your peas. Mush your peas? Yeah. You're not in the north. I don't know. Good morning, you lovely bunch from sunny Ireland. Oh, who knew? Who would have thought? It's like, wow, I thought it was going to rain all the time. The weather is glorious. We've got quite the epic sunrise going on over there. We've woken up in Ross Lair, right where we left you last night. We're parked up in just a little tiny car park in the village. We're up early because we want to get out of there because uh, we feel like the locals probably want it during the day and then we're going to get on the road, don't we? We are indeed. Sorry, AJ see the seagull and is a little bit scared of them. <laughs> Since our time in France, he got attacked by a seagull and now he's scared of seagulls. Emily's scared of all the spiders. There's loads, isn't there? Oh my God, I just went through like spider alley and there was one just hovering above. I was like, don't touch my web! Honestly, absolutely horrendous. It reminds me of when I was a kid, there used to be loads of spiders. You don't see it so much anymore, do no, you? No, you don't actually, but yeah, absolutely loads of them. But this is a stunning, stunning walk and a really good way to start our little island trip. Before we leave, Emily just wanted to show you and me this place because I didn't see it last night. It's very cool, but first things first, you know we're looking for property here in Ireland. We found a Hobbit house. You're such a twat. Anyway, I want to show you the community garden where this Hobbit house is. It's really, really pretty and we're just not going to like even speak to Louise anymore, but they've got a lovely little fairy walk and there's just loads of plants and stuff, little fairy houses, it's just very, very, oh, and bug hotels. Yeah, and loads of wildlife and then all these little bits in the trees. It is a really cool walk. If you come in through Rosslair Ross Ross and you get the time to have a look, I recommend that you do. But now we're hitting the road, right? We are. Let's onto the move. move. Oh, I don't even know. Onto the move? <laughs> onto the move. Onto the move. <laughs> Look at this, buddy, you're gonna love it. We'll go for a nice stroll along there. Look at that for a view out the front. Perfect. We needed the back doors. Do you want me to go in backwards? The back yeah. Oh, it's too many options. I'll go in backwards if you want. You right. can wake up to that in the morning. No, looking out the window. Yeah, put us in backwards. Because we're gonna put the blinds up, so it's not ruin the ruin of you. Emily wants backwards, it's backwards she shall have. <laughs>
I can't tell you how good it feels not to be packing boxes in the house and be out in the fresh air, back on the road, sand under our feet, sea under our feet. It is absolutely amazing. I hated them boxes, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. And the weather, for once, is absolutely perfect. It's like cool enough that we can leave summer in the van without worrying. Mm -hmm. We can come out in the afternoon. We've, it is the afternoon now because um, Emily had to work all bloody morning. Always ridden really our fun. Hey! But yeah, we can come out in the afternoon with AJ. He can go for a swim or a paddle in the sea. It's, it's spot on. It's only going to be here for a couple of days, so we're going to make the most <laughs> of it. But yeah, we're enjoying it, aren't we? Yeah, definitely. It's just it's just so nice to be chilled and back in a van. It seems like forever since I've been back in a van. So yeah, I'm absolutely loving life right now. AJ is dying to go for a proper swim with his uh, BA double L. But mm. we, um, what are we doing? We're being a little bit more cautious with him because he goes too big, too quick, and then ends up in you know a little bit of pain and stuff and recovering for a couple of days. So we're easing him in nice and gently, and then yeah, hopefully maybe in a couple of days he can have his beard as well. Yes, because we're going to spend quite a bit of time by the coast on this Irish trip, weather permitting, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to be outside. Isn't it? it is. It's lovely. How good does it feel to be back in my van? Are you excited? I am excited, I'm loving life. Do you feel like you're home? I do actually. I feel like like before the house was was my home, but now I think because we've been in here so much, yeah, this is just home now. Yes, it is very, very nice to be back in the van. Very excited to be hitting up Ireland. And something exciting for you guys actually, if you fancy trying van life for yourself or van life is your dream, or you just want to upgrade your current van, our friends at Brown Bird and Company who make the most amazing vans. In fact, here, have a look at this. How gorgeous is that van and it could be yours for like six pounds a ticket just six pounds yes they are raffling off another one this time it's a Mercedes Sprinter van so a bit bigger it is their flagship van you may have seen it on social media before it is stunningly built inside and out in fact she's a beast on we've spent time with that van yeah we? we have I love it and it is an absolute beast you've got a ladder it's all black you've got um, the proper roof rack and everything on top the spare tire chunky tires spare one on the back it does look the mutts nuts i'm gonna say and yeah emily's right six pound a ticket if you want to see all the full spec and everything that van's got in it head to the link in the description enter because you've got to be in it to win it and someone for six quid is going to get the bargain the van life bargain of the year isn't oh they? god i'm so jealous because it's such a nice van yeah maybe one day they'll build us one but we'll have to wait and see if we think if we're friends with them long enough <laughs> maybe just maybe they'll be build us one of their beautiful vans anyway that's it we're in ireland aren't we yep we're in ireland we're loving it already oh the people are so friendly i know we've only been here a little bit but still yes everybody to a southerner when you walk down the street and everyone says hello to us that is like mega friendly and yeah. the irish are definitely not this Disappointed on that front so not far. Not at all. In no. the like day and a half that we've been here away. It's not even day, is it? I don't care, I'm just loving it and I love the accent. Yes, we are going to keep it short and sweet though because we are absolutely shattered. We're going to go and take a day off while the sunshine is here and then we'll be right back with you next week as we start to explore Ireland and all its emerald, gloriness and everything Ireland has to offer over the coming months. So yeah, hit the subscribe button if you want to see those videos, ding the bell, whack Give the thumbs up, all that jazz and we'll see you lot on the next one. <laughs>